Alla Cassine makes fitted kitchens in San Marino, a tiny sovereign state in central Italy. General Manager Lorenzo Arcangeli says the company is looking forward to gaining full access to the lucrative European Union market, but for now, selling to clients in the EU involves dealing with extra bureaucracy. It has additional costs, and therefore the client finds it an obstacle. And our company finds it to be an obstacle too. Explaining the documentation to a European customer is not so easy. San Marino's manufacturers are set to gain access to the EU single market, the world's largest trading bloc, under an agreement that could go into effect by the end of the year. But its finance industry has been locked out of the deal. San Marino has been dogged by Western media reports about its connections with Russia. EU officials have also expressed concern that the country's failure to meet certain standards of financial regulation could open a back door for illegal Russian money into the EU. In April, The Economist described San Marino's relationship with Russia as alarmingly friendly and unusual. It revealed that the country had named Emmanuel Goethe, a Frenchman with long-standing ties to the Kremlin, as its ambassador and failed to disclose his dual Russian citizenship. A San Marino official told VOA that the article is false. Not only to be inaccurate, but to try to, to sell a story. And I tell them, who did pay them to do that? Because for sure it was not good for San Marino. The doubts that they spread around. The Economist article also noted that San Marino's honorary consul in Moscow until February was Vladimir Lissin, Russia's third richest citizen, according to Forbes magazine. In response to Bagragny's comments to VOA, The Economist's Europe editor said that they stand by their reporting. Breaking with its traditional policy of neutrality, San Marino voted to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine in a March 2022 UN vote. Dmitry Potopenko, a Russian economist and politician, says relations between San Marino and Moscow have soured since then. So the changes are, as they say, that the relations are tense. Whether they become more tense and whether the Russian Federation will use San Marino to get around these sanctions, I do not think so. But analysts say EU banking authorities have good reason to scrutinise San Marino's bid for increased access to the bloc's financial sector. The EU is raising the flag. It's very serious. And they've done their due diligence. And maybe this is unusual for them to feel this type of pressure um, because they may not receive that much attention globally for these issues. But it doesn't matter. While manufacturing businesses like Arc and Jellies look forward to a boon from gaining full access to the EU market, another European microstate, Monaco, dropped out of similar negotiations with the EU last year after regulators expressed concerns over its financial practices. Henry Wilkins, VOA News, San Marino.